Hey guys, what is up? My name is Brianna and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you guys how I pick out my TBR list for a month. Alright guys, so every month I try to have at least two kinds of books that I'm reading. And those two kinds of books will always consist of at least normal novels. And then I decide between whether or not I would like to have a project book for the month, which I categorize as a bigger book that is going to be harder for me to finish in a week long length, like I do with the normal novels, or several audiobooks that I would like to listen to throughout the month instead. And I only do that because if I have all three in a month, it's harder to keep up with both the project book for the month and finishing the audiobooks, and then you're left reading three different books at once. And it's really hard to keep up with that. And the project book I picked for this month is something that I'm actually able to consider as each kind of piece of it that I'm reading on its own can be considered its own novella because I chose in the past month of April to have a novella bind up by Cassandra Clare as my project book because it is so long. I was able to split it up to read two novellas between each novel that I'm reading this month and have it not get in the way of me reading my other books and I still have ample time at the end of the month if I don't end up finishing it. So the first thing that I do while making my TBR list is I go through my bookshelf and I find books on it that I have not read yet. And by doing this, it allows me to slowly chip away at the excessive amount of unread books on my bookshelf. So even if it's going to take me a long time, I'm eventually going to have read all the books on my bookshelves. Then I go through the list and pick out one book per week of the month and my picks are based on many different things such as my moods, books that I've just finished reading, and how the different genres that I would like to read can change over the month, what season it is, and different plans that I have for the month itself. So the third thing I decide to do uh, while making my TBR list for the following month is I try to decide what is kind of most different from what I've just read, but also what I would enjoy reading for the next month. So it's kind of a toss up of I'm trying to vary what I'm reading. So I don't fall into a slump, but at the same time, since I have just finished reading those books and I liked most of them, presumed I liked most of them, I would like to read more like it. So I try to vary my picks for the month. So I have my books here that I am pretty sure I will be reading for my next TBR. and. And I have several that are close to the same genre. So I plan to try to stagger them so that I read like one fantasy and then I read um, a horror book and then I read another fantasy and then I read a dystopian 
stuff like that. That's how I like to plan out my TBR list is so that if I'm stuck in one world and I have another book before the next one, I'm not just stuck in one spot. I can move forward and just plow through my TBR lists. Alright, and my final step is I will go back after I pick out what books I can read and will read within each week of the month if I'm trying and I will go and I will try to find a project book and if I don't choose a project book I will just try as I'm going through the month to find audiobooks that I really like to check out from my school library or the public library to help support them as well as being able to go through my everyday stuff and at the same time being able to read and just read twice as much as I usually would. Alright guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and then let me know down in the comments how you decide what you are going to read next. I'm really interested to see how everyone else does as well.